Welcome back to another video folks. It's been quite a long time since I posted another, oh sorry, a, a last uh, painting video. It's not that I haven't been painting, I've just found it very difficult with a limited amount of painting time to also fit in some time to take pictures and videos and there's also the issue of uh, this time of year in Scotland. We've actually got blue skies today so it's been a great opportunity for me to get some painting done but this is quite rare at this time, to be honest. It's starting to get lighter now, so um, today was a good chance. So I've, I've been really busy and you should see quite a few new videos up on the YouTube channel and pictures on the Facebook channel. So I'm going to start with uh, some gun teams for my 8th Army. I've got 6 pounders, anti-tank guns, 25 pounder artillery, plus a little honey um, uh, observer tank. So these are the Battlefront plastic kits. They're the soft plastic um, gun crew and the hard plastic guns. I painted uh, one set each of these before so I was quite familiar with them. I do like the plastic guns compared to metal guns just because of the durability. The small metal guns are so easy to chip. Let's have a look at the, the honey first of all. So I spent a bit of time doing some modulation and some highlighting. Lots of weathering. Try to put a lot of character into this little tank. I'm not entirely sure how effective observer tanks are going to be. They tend to just throw a lot of fire. The 25 pounders themselves are quite effective as anti tank weapons. They've got a good rate of fire. So there's maybe not the, the need to hide them the way you might want to do with a low rate of fire, more vulnerable kind of artillery weapon. Turn around a bit. I've put two of them with the limbers open. You can check for other videos on how I would paint these crew and how I would paint these anti tank guns as well. I've used Vallejo all the way for these guys and you can see in the how-to videos what colours I've used and also how I did the basing. As you can see it looks really quite sand-like and like in a nice scale. And there's various <coughs> little shells and empty casings kicking about. You can see I've used a, a quite a bright trim on the base. I've used this ochre colour. Uh, that's game colour, heavy ochre I think it is. Bless you again. Originally I was going to use a darker colour but uh, I just tried this and I quite like it and it's going to make them distinctive from the German forces who are going to be a darker uh, trim. Now getting these guys in place on some of the bases that they supply with the, uh, with the kits is quite difficult. So what I'm going to do is just cut away to a short clip uh, and I'll show you what I did to, to fit them in behind the gun shield as much as possible with the, the bases that were available with the kit. So I'll be right back after that. So this is the kind of challenges that you're facing trying to use these kind of bases for gun crews with these big round tabs and try to fit them in. You can see, I mean, for instance, I, I don't know how I'm going to fit anybody around a gun on a base like that. There's just no way. Um, I'm probably going to have to find something that I can substitute. 
this one here, whoops, where are we? Is the easiest format. You can see the guys are more or less in their holes and they can fit around the gun shield and the breech as you'd expect. Just lift the gun out. You can see what I've had to do here. I've had to remove parts of the bases, parts of the tabs to just slide them around a bit. And I'll use filler. You always have to use filler with these things to a degree anyway. If you're using a thin upper surface as as I will be the really thin um, gel that I use to help make the sand. You can see around the tab that's thinner need, uh, not thinner, um, filler needed. So there's going to be some extra filler needed around these big spaces. I basically set the guys out around the gun and then seeing how I could fit that into the base. So if you imagine, excuse me, the camera works a bit poor just now. Trying to find where I'm going to put the crew, oh, excuse me, the crew for this. I can remove bits of the tabs and slide them around, but There's basically going to be no tab left, and even then, for instance, there on that one and the top there in the middle, I can't get I can't get anybody in there. I'm going to have to try and find bases like that in the various little leftovers that I have. I like the idea of these guys being used to base. It works really well for infantry, but I don't think it does for guns, guys. Uh, if it does, Battlefront really needs to supply appropriate bases because that's just. That's great, but I mean, that's just utter pointless. No point in even sending that to us. So there's my wee annoying frustration. Otherwise, as you'll see from the rest of the video, I am still quite happy with them. Oh, by the way, if you're cutting these guys off, you can remove, you can see his foot's floating a little bit there, basically remove the base. You need where are we? properly sharp knife guys, which means you've got to be properly careful as well. Don't You don't want to be taking off any bits of your fingers, but you can also, as you're sliding this through between the bottom of the foot and the, the base, you can also lift accidentally and start cutting off the foot. So just be careful. Anyway, back to the main video. So you can see, it takes a little bit of extra work to get them where you want them to be, which is a bit annoying, but I do like having the base here, having the, the figure sitting flush with the base and with as strong a fix as possible to the base itself. But there you go guys, there's the, the gun teams. Next up for me it's going to be infantry, mortars and heavy machine guns and then my 8th army will actually be finished. And um, you'll be able to see some attractive battle reports. Fully painted 8th army against fully painted Africa Corps. So, fingers crossed over the next four weeks I can get the, the infantry up to this um, same level of completion. But thanks for watching guys. and. Um, if you like what you see here, there's plenty more on the channel and you never know, later in this year there may be a lot more on the channel depending on my free time, so stay tuned.